It's been reported this week that cheeky General Pinochet is set to move from his Surrey hideaway. In the short term, he plans to move to the sunny south coast, and in the long term, to a Spanish prison. But is he too old to face trial? And should he be extradited at all? Well, who better to debate the case than Radio 1 DJ John Peel? John, thanks for joining us. What do you make of Pinochet's plans? Well, uh, I think I remember the first time that I actually met uh, General Pinochet. It was uh, back in the 1980s, as far as I remember. I think Annie Nightingale had organised a wine tasting tour of the Chilean regions. And, uh, of course, Pinochet had a meet and greet for all the Radio 1 DJs. And uh, the moment we got there, of course, Noel Edmonds pushed his way to the front, as yeah. he always did. I expect did, you know? he wanted to swap stories about guns, tanks and stuff. Well, as far as I remember, I think the main thing they were talking about was different torture techniques. I remember uh, that Pinochet was saying he invented these enormous pink sweatsuits, which uh, he'd tie up the people in, and then they'd go bumping around and falling over places, all terribly disorientated. And uh, I think Noel Evans, remember, laughed out loud and said, what a super idea for a character. And then they looked at each other again and laughed in the most frightening way I think I've ever heard. <laughs> Now, John, did you come across evidence of mass murder? And I mean by Pinochet. We all know about Edmonds' past. <laughs> well, I, I do remember one night. I was actually uh, there and I heard these chilling screams coming out from the wine cellar. And uh, I asked Pinochet what it was about. And he said actually he had one of his favourite bands, Spandau Ballet. And uh, they were doing some kind of session down there. And uh, I think Gary Kemp couldn't earth his guitar properly. And uh, so Andy Peebles has always been a wizard around the circuit board. Uh, he had a go, but unfortunately he was terribly drunk and got the most enormous shock. And uh, actually blew his genitals clean off. And uh, from that point onwards, I think he was known as Janice. Long and uh, brilliant. Thanks a lot to John Peel. I think it's well documented that after that point, John. Yeah, thanks a lot, John Peel. Well, that's the end of part one. Coming up in part two, we'll be sampling some raw sex with Roland Rivron. But before that, egged on by Philip, the Queen misjudges the mood of the Ghanaian people. We see her here just after telling the one about the cannibal and the oxen cube. <laughs> see you after the break.